Now you know he's my favorite. Let's go. All right, Geeks was popping. Hope you enjoyed the little history lesson on this figure. Check him out. Phasing Vision. That is some awesome translucent plastic. At least it looks like it through the package. And we get a flight stand. And not the one that grips around the waist. The one that sticks in the back so you don't see the hooks. Man, the good old days. You know, I like to think I have most Marvel Legends, but whenever I venture back into the Toy Biz days, I realize that outside of the bath waves, I'm missing a lot of Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Out of this group here, I think Vision is the only one I have. I believe I have the standard Vision, but I don't have the Ghost Rider, the Hawkeye, that Apocalypse, that Wolverine that came with the awesome water chamber. And now that Silver Centurion, I do have one. And I'm not sure if it's that one. I gotta find pretty, but I'm not sure if it's that one. But anyway, I'm rambling. Okay, I look behind me. I actually do have that Silver Centurion Iron Man. He's on the shelf. Maybe I'll do him next week. All right, like a lot of the old Tobias figs, it comes with a not for resale reprint of an original Marvel comic book. And I actually have this one in my collection. So I'll give this one to my son. Behold the vision. Okay, so first things first, uh, this dropped in what, 2004? So it's now 20 years old, it's just gone out of the package. He's sticky. Man, he's sticky. When you pick him up, he just kind of sticks to your fingers and he smells like rubber, but uh, he's awesome. At first I thought the face was too dark, but now that you think about it, you don't want his face to be as transparent as the rest of his body is because in the comic books when he was phasing, his face was still a dark red. You really didn't see through his head. So, so kudos to Toy Biz there, they made a good decision. I look at that torso, clear yellow in the right places. The green looks pretty good. At first I thought this was a painting mistake, but I just realized that that's the diamond that was in the middle of his chest. It's just the lines aren't very straight, but we can forgive that. I think the feet look good. The translucent plastic really does a good job here. I do have a little bit of straight paint there, like a little chip, and then there's some green on his cape. The cape is transparent as well. Looks gorgeous when the light hits it. It's just the right color gold. I'm loving it. You're not really opening a Toy Biz package, unless you cut yourself. And the fact that he comes with a stand that plugs him to his back, mwah. The cape seems to unbutton in the front. I'm not touching that. Like I said, this is 20 years old, just coming out the package. I'm good with it. All right, so in the back here, he's got a hole in his waist where you plug in the flight stand. And he has another hole here. At first I thought that's what a flight stand went, but it's kind of a weird window shape. Turns out it is the peg in his cape. You just stick that in there. So the cape does not move around too much. Translucence looks really good. Now they have these primitive butterfly joints. But man, I've been 2004, these are probably killing it. I bet you hadn't seen that type of articulation before. And it's functional, just doesn't look that good. But it's hidden when the arms go down. Shoulders are nice and round. He gets 360 at the bicep. I thought he was gonna spin at the forearm, but he's not. And no, no 360 at the wrist. It looks like he's on an abdominal rocker, but he's not. It's just a sharp contrast in the paint. He's got ab crunch, really loose, 360 at the waist, 360 at the thigh cut, and he has a boot cut. No 360 at the foot, but they do go up and down. He gets good toe range, and he has articulated toes. Split is really wide. All of that damage you can ask for. Bend for days, super kick. Double jointed pin knees and elbows. Fingers are articulated. He comes in at right about five and three quarter inches, so kind of on the small side. You can see by today's legend standards, he scales way small. So if you put him on your shelf, you want him either by himself or definitely use a flight stand. So he's not in direct comparison with your modern Marvel Legends. That's a big difference. 20 years later, should you add this to your collection? Yeah, I think he's great. If you know what you're getting, you shouldn't expect him to be like a 2024 figure, but the articulation here is good enough. It's the translucent that gets it. It's so well executed. You put him up on the shelf, he's gonna look great. He's a little bit on the small side, but you can deal with it. You can put him in any pose you want. The articulation is there. It's how Toy Biz got to that articulation that you might have a problem with. But when he's up on the shelf, you won't see those little things and it won't matter. He'll just look good like he is there. But talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think. My opinion only goes so far. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you're watching this early as a member, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. If you haven't joined our Facebook, name the groups up in the left-hand corner of your screen. 
like subscribe turn notifications keep coming back for more Until next time geek out